look, I redecorated the background because I thought it was necessary to switch it up. Um, I got that little thing from the dollar section in Target as well as that candle that smells very good. It says give yourself time to grow if you can't read it. Um, but I'm not realizing my head covers it. So we might have to do something about that eventually. But today, I'm just showing you guys what I bought during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. So this is an Ulta Haul 21 Days of Beauty edition. Mm -hmm. So I didn't get like a whole lot, but I think I got enough to make a video. So I'll try and do it like in the order that I bought it. I don't remember which days was what. Now that it's over, I can't like see the ad anymore, so I should have screenshot it before I did this video. But I will give the original price and then the price that I got it for. If you don't know about Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, I'm pretty positive it's twice a year. And for 21 days, they have several products that are half off strictly for that day. So for example, uh, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer was one of the days. That Saturday, all the shades, from open to close, you can do it online or in store. There are some exclusive online steals only. There was one serum I really wanted to get that had five star reviews, but it was sold out by the time I got to it. So um, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna show everything I got. So the first product I got was this, um, correct me if I'm wrong how I'm saying this, Cosrx, Cosrx, I don't really know how else you say it. It's this snail um, toner. This brand I look at every single time I go to the section in my store. I'm pretty sure it is, yeah, an Asian or Korean beauty brand, something like that. And I'm very, oh, made in Korea, very intrigued by their skincare, like, traditions and stuff like that. Um, let's see what it says. Being 96% snail secretion filtrate, in parentheses, mucin, mucin, M-U-C-I-N, this essence helps the skin to lose less moist while keeping the skin smooth and healthy. So let's see what the app says, if it has any more of a, like a description. Okay, so this is originally $25. I got it for $12.50, you know, half off on the day of the steal. By the way, I've had my makeup on like all day long. I did touch it up, but it's not, I've had it on since uh, like 8.30 this morning. Big ass mosquito. Did y'all see that? Um since like 8.30 this morning so you know it is what it is this is real life so $25 it has as you can see four and a half star reviews and there's like a, over a thousand of them so duh like a multivitamin for your skin Cosrx advanced nail 96 mucin power essence contains 96% of the snail mucin supposed to uh, improve overall radiance with help with dullness and brightening, provide long-lasting hydration without leaving a residue. Plumping the skin, helping with elasticity, that bug is scaring me. Highly concentrated formula for all skin types, and it is without parabens, phthalates, and alcohol. So, product number, number one. The thing I got after that, I don't have the box because I forgot, I, didn't, I hadn't thought about doing this video by the time I had gotten this, but I got a, a good old Buxom White Russian. If you're not familiar with this lip gloss or the brand, both very good. Classic. This is a classic lip gloss. If you are a beginner in makeup or you need to get a gift for somebody who likes lip gloss and they like nudes, get them Buxom White Russian. It is a full-on plumping lip cream, I think. But yes, full-on plumping lip cream. I don't think they are super plumping, but they do have a tingly feeling, like minty feeling. Um, I don't think it makes your lips necessarily much bigger, though. Originally $21. I got it for $11 on the day of the steal. I'm going to show you guys the color. It smells so good. It smells like vanilla-y caramel. I don't know. In my opinion, it's the best smelling lip gloss. I would put some on right now, but I have on a ColourPop one. I should have put this one on. I don't know what I was thinking. So here is what it looks like. <laughs> I think it might be too bright in here for you to see. The light? Oh, that's that's pretty good. It looks when you put it on your lips, it's like very sheer. So yes, product number two, Buxom White Russian Cotton. I had this lip gloss and it completely fucking disappeared. I bet you one of my sisters took it. Um, there's also a very good chance that I like lost it or dropped it or something. So. There's that. Um, the next thing I got 
were two of the Jaclyn Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. Uh, if you don't know already, I love these. I already own three nude shades. She had a whole nude drop and then she recently had like a very bright colored drop. So I decided to get one more nude and one of the bright ones. And I'm going to show them to you. I got the shade Be Brave and Easy Peasy. Packaging is a little bit different on the brighter ones. So these are normally... Well, let me find out. These are my favorite liquid lipsticks. These and like the Dose of Color and ColourPop are like my top three, probably. Uh, $20, so I got them for $10 on that day. So I basically got two for one. So I'll show you Be Brave. That is on my lips underneath this gloss. I do have on a Becca lip liner, but this is what's on majority of my lips. I'm trying to draw a heart. Oh, oh not good. Let me draw easy peasy so I can show you both at the same time. And then I can finally <laughs> take these out of the boxes because I've been waiting. I'm so excited to wear this color. I'm kind of nervous too, but like excited. <laughs> How cute. Okay, so the nude one is Be Brave and the pink is easy peasy. <laughs> Next up, I did get the Benefit Brow Setter, which is their Claire Brow Gel. It has a really cool brush. It's at my boyfriend's because I got it to keep at his house because I already have a brow gel here that I'm using. Um, I'll put a picture of it on the screen or something like that. Let's find out what that was. I love Benefit Brow Products. And I tried that like in the tester one time in our store and I've wanted it ever since, but I'm trying this new thing where <laughs> I don't buy something unless I need it or it's on sale. Because if I need it, obviously I need a new one. And if it's on sale, I mean, come on. It's originally $24, so I must have gotten it for $12.50, which sounds familiar. Because um, it's literally half off. Again, over 2,000 four and a half star reviews. Um, I used it today in my brows before I went to work. Naturally, they kind of like fall down throughout the day, but it is really nice. It doesn't get too crunchy. It doesn't have a strong scent, but the brush is what's really cool about that one and then while we're on the topic of benefit i got their setting spray that has come out did i already say that my nails are stained from doing somebody's hair before y'all just think i'm dirty somebody wanted blue hair today okay that's what that is it's not dirt anyways the professional super setter this is the setting spray that they've came out with this year i'm pretty positive it is their long lasting makeup setting spray 93 percent said it perfects the look of makeup it is waterproof didn't realize that smudge proof fade proof all miss no mess let's open it i have not even opened this yet i like that it's not in like a can it's on there good it's got two lids i'm not a lid person these will be gone and i'll give it a week um let's test out the mister Ooh, very nice. Yes, not a strong smell. I don't want to look super greasy, otherwise I'd try it because I already am greasy, but I'm very excited about this. I've heard great things. Let's see what the price was on the day. 32 So I got it for $16. 16 dollars. And I was actually, I had just ran out of my Morphe setting spray, so, I mean, I do have a little bit of a Catrice and a ColourPop one, but they're both almost gone. So, yeah, I'm very excited about that. And the last thing that I think is, I mean, I'm very excited about everything I got. Granted, I already tried the lip products, but I got the Bobbi Brown face base. I'm very late to this. This was super popular. I mean, it's, it's like a classic, but um, it's expensive. It's originally $64, as you can see here on the sticker, because... Um, a weird spot in the store when I found it. It's supposed to be a moisturizer and primer in one. Oh my god, it smells. Well, I don't like that it has a smell. I hate fragrance skin stuff. I have this cream from Grown, Al Grown Alchemist. It's like their repair day cream. It smells. This just fell out of it. It smells just like that. I don't want to stick my fingers in it because I literally just dusted that before I came on. And recorded this but 
I never heard anyone. Let's see what the reviews are about this. Never heard a bad thing about it. And with Ulta's return policy and loyalty program, which is obviously amazing, if you don't like something, you can return it. So obviously if the fragrance breaks me out or something, I'll return it, but I have high hopes. It has 2,152 five-star reviews. That's fucking solid if you ask me. Look at that. Let me get my face out of it. Can you see that? Can you see those filled in little stars in that too? And shoot, let's read some really quick. That's always fun. Why did I wait so long to try this? Someone did say it was stinky. My ride or die. Surprisingly impressive. Works great on my skin. Best moisturizing primer. One of my favorites. It's okay. Wonderful. I bought it many times. Wonderful. All caps. Very moist. The boost my 30 year old skin needed. Great. Best skincare. Best out there. Good but strong perfume smell. I can agree with that. Okay, so. As long as the smell doesn't linger, we'll be good. But that is everything that I got during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. It is my favorite event. I have my favorite beauty event. I have discovered so many favorites on the sale because they usually put products that are like hidden gems or really popular products. So it's kind of like a mix. So like the Buxom White Russian, everyone loves it. You know, maybe this toner is like, you know, a hidden gem, has great reviews, but you don't hear people raving about it every day. So that's what I love about it. I discovered my current Indie Lee Brightening Face Wash from the last one, and I'm obsessed with it. I've discovered a lot of things, so I'd say watch out for it. If you haven't shopped at Ulta before, you should go. They have amazing deals, drugstore, high-end. It's my favorite beauty store. I am, I'm probably a bit biased because I do work there. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Um, I mean, I have positive experience there, so it's not like I'm saying nothing bad. And I've been a customer since the day they opened one by my house. So, um, yeah, that's everything I got. And I just wanted to show y'all. Hope you have an amazing day. Hope you have an amazing Easter coming up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that because I have some exciting videos coming. I just bought a full face of Fenty. I'm so excited. I have this skincare tool that I still want to try. I don't know if I've mentioned it before. But I'm trying to try and get on top of my game so yes don't forget to like and subscribe leave a comment tell me what i should film next tell me what you got during ulta's 21 days of beauty or something that you've discovered in one from another year and i hope you have an amazing blessed beautiful great save tonight thank you for watching this video